All right. Gotta share the recipe. So I've got pasta roller and some dough going. Oh, and it's in the cookbook already on Amazon. The recipe for that blueberry pie. I'm running the new recipe for this vegan dough. And I'm doing recipe number two in the upcoming book. So sign up underneath if you want to get the notice when the book is published, which is going to be in about two weeks. So you want to sign up. And these are going to turn into layers. Yeah, it's getting longer and longer. This is going to turn into layers of field roast. This is homemade field roast. So this is recipe number two of your vegan pasta rolling machine, do it at yourself at home type of cookbook. Coming out. Here's what happens when I put it through on number six. Solid. So you want to lay these out just lay them out all right what I'm doing now is rubbing on the paste and I've got that on and then I'm going to layer the slices. Now we're not going to be too careful about how it's layered because eventually this is just going to be the texture of the individual little pieces of field roast. This one is the thinnest one really and I don't recommend it. If you do it that thin, it will be very hard to lift and transfer. So go to a number five on your macaroni dial. See, kitchen utensils are fun, and those old things that you might have in your closet, you can still use those things to create new things that are equally as believed to be healthy, and hopefully are, as the foods that were made before. Now we're going to take and create that texture. That meat texture I was talking about. In order to do this, we're going to end up cutting it and then reforming it. <clears throat> and this is also going to be a time when it would probably be good to run it through the macaroni roller if we could. But 
but not necessary. That would take and press it together probably too much. And I want that thinner layer along with these thicker layers of different texture and consistency. I want the little grainy bits of lemon herb and hoisin sauce spices to sink in. And um, I can feel it very soft to the touch here. And this is a great recipe if you are allergic to soy, like I am, and not actually test, testing high allergens to any, any wheat products, then you're good. I am going to use a different kind of knife. Just for the fun of it. I am using a different kind of knife. And I'm going to slice these. And now you can see that I, uh, I have achieved a meat-like, meaty texture. A very meaty texture here. And it's still fluffy like bread. But I've got that texture and I've got good juices all throughout, just through and through. Yum. Okay. And this is not an exact science. Now you can take these and make individual steaks by simply rolling them and then pressing them flat. And that is a uh, kind of like a small, thin steak shape. Wheat burgers there. And this dough is perfect to hold these shapes even though as fragile as it is, really. It's there, and I'm going to cook it on this cookie sheet, so I'm going to set it aside.